ونستغفره نعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن نبينا وحبيبنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله ربه بالهدى ودين الحق رحمة للعالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا وحبيبنا محمد وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين عباد الله أوصي نفسي وإياكم بتقوى الله العظيم تعالى وطاعته كما قال تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اللهم اجعلنا جميعا منهم يا رب العالمين أما بعد dear respected brothers and and our sisters in Islam, when we scan and read the Quran and the Sunnah, we come to ten major principles and values. You will feel the emphasis of these principles and values uh, in the Quran and in the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One of these uh, principles and values is the value of the justice, al-adil, as presented in the Quran and in the Sunnah. One of these principles is the principle and the value of al-wasatiyya, the uh, balance and the moderation of the teaching of Islam, and the uh, the principle of. Um, التربيه والتهذيب the discipline that the teaching of Islam has to install in us to train us of we start the salah together we make the record together we finish the salah together we start the siyam and we finish the siyam together we avoid certain things we go to the hajj same time same route same direction same address and so on the as-suhula fi al-fahm wa al-tatbiq, the flexibility and the simplicity of and the practicality of the teaching of Islam, the as-sadr bil haq, the issue of the emphasis on the truth, as wallahu la yastahi min al haq, the issue of unity al wahda, wa inna hadi ummatukum ummatan wahda. وَأَنَا رَبُّكُمْ فَاتَّقُونِ الشمول The comprehensiveness of the teaching of Islam for the individual, for the family, for the community, for the society, uh, for humanity. And uh, my khutbah today is about one of these great principles and values Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasized in his book and his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam emphasized in his uh, uh, sunnah. That is the value and the principle of uh, justice, or social justice if you like. Al-Adi, <coughs> Al-Qist. And uh, from the hundreds of ayat and hundreds of ahadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, let my khutbah today be uh, briefly about one ayah. And this ayah is from Surah An-Nisa, Surah number 4, ayah number 135. And I appreciate if when you go home, if you open the books of tafsir and read about the tafsir and the meanings and the lessons we Muslims should read, should learn from this ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in this ayah, يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين بالقسط شهداء لله ولو على أنفسكم أو الوالدين والأقربين إن يكن غنيا أو فقيرا فالله أولى بهما فلا تتبعوا الهوى أن تعدلوا وإن تلووا أو تعرضوا فإن 
الله كان بما تعملون خبيرا Oh you who believe stand out firmly for justice as witnesses to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even as against yourselves or your parents or your kin and whether it be against rich or poor for Allah can best protect both follow not the lusts of your hearts lest you swear and if you uh, disturb justice or decline to do justice verily Allah is well acquainted with all that you do Again, brothers and sisters, this is only one ayah, 135, from Surah An-Nisa. I want you to keep five lessons and five uh, uh, principles we can derive from this ayah and we should be aware of when we read this ayah and the principle of justice in Islam. Number one, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to observe justice, the Almighty Allah ordained that this rule, Al-Adil Al-Qust, is a hundred percent rule with no exception. We hear the common statement, every rule has an exception. Well, this principle, this commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no exception. And if you read Carefully what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the Almighty is saying in this ayah, you have no excuse to avoid justice, even if you have to testify against your own personal interest, or against your own parents' interest, or the loved one, or the rich, or the poor, or the relative, whoever. You have no excuse to avoid justice. When you testify, you justify the truth the holy truth and nothing but the truth. And if you compare this ayah with a similar ayah of Surah Al-Ma'idah, Ya ayyuhu ladina amanu kunu qawwameena lillah shuhada'a bil qasr. Stand out firmly for Allah as witnesses to testify justice. And here, stand firmly for justice as witnesses to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is rotating and substituting his name with the justice. When you stand out firmly for justice, you are standing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you want to stand firmly for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the way to do it. When you stand firm out firmly for our justice. So we have no excuse. The rest of the ayah of Surah uh, Al-Ma'idah, وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا اعدلوا هو أقرب للتقوى let not the hatred and the enmity you have with certain people lead you to injustice no even between you and your enemy when you have to testify you have to testify to stand up firmly for justice and in the common hadith Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said uh, before Islam في الجاهلية uh, كان الواحد يقف مع قريب مع قريبه وابن عائلته وابن قبيلته بغض النظر فكان عندهم قول مشهور انصر أخاك ظالما أو مظلوما before Islam in the tribal society uh, each one used to stand they have a common statement stand with your brother whether your brother is oppressed or oppressor I stand with my tribe I stand with my family that was the rule and the principle when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came and Islam came, the Prophet sallallahu sallam corrected the principle for us. So one day Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to the Sahaba, Unsur akhaka bariman al-Baduna. Stand with your brother. Whether your brother is a priest or a prisoner, they said, O oh, Rasulullah, هَذَا نَنْصُرُهُ مَغْضُومًا فَكَيْفَ نَنْصُرُهُ ظَالِمًا O oh, Rasulullah, we know how to stand, that we need to stand to support our brother when our brother is oppressed. But how can we support our brother when our brother is an oppressor? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, and ta'khud ala yadihi, by preventing him from doing injustice to others. This is the real support that you give when your brother is an oppressor, that you stop and prevent 
uh, this person from doing injustice to others. Nobody has an excuse to do injustice or to do wrong to others. So this is a hundred percent rule with no exception. Number two, uh, to realize how important this principle in our life, in our personal relationship, in our family even relationship, in our neighborhood and relatives, kid and kin relationship, in our interaction and communication and relationship with people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set himself as the example for justice in Sahih al-Imam Muslim, the Hadith al-Qudusi qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul Allah ta'ala ya ibadi inni harramtu dhulma ala nafsi wa ja'altuhu baynakum muharraman fala tadhalamu in the defined Hadith Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says O oh my servant I am prohibited in justice of dhulm in myself and ordained to be prohibited among you do not do injustice to one another. So the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started by himself, set himself as the example, every, all of his creatures, believers and disbelievers, atheists and Muslims and Jews and Christians, whoever, are secured. The Almighty does not do injustice to anyone. إِنَّمَا هِيَ أَعْمَالُكُمْ أُحْصِيهَا لَكُمْ فمن وجد خيرا فليحمد الله ومن وجد غير ذلك فلا يلومن إلا نفسه وما ربك بظلام للعبيد. And when you come to believe and to study the articles of Iman, أركان الإيمان. The first one to believe in Allah سبحانه وتعالى by believing, accepting, understanding the names and attributes of Allah سبحانه وتعالى. الأسماء والصفات. But from the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, something we teach even for our own children, Al-Adil, Al-Muqsat, Al-Hakam, like of the most beautiful names, and perfect, perfect attributes of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we read Al-Adil, Al-Muqsat, the all just, the perfect just, the perfect judge, Al-Hakam, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I did a quick homework scanning the Quran about how many times the root of the word Al-Adil, Al-Qist, Al-Haq, Al-Mizan was repeated in the Quran. Do you know the answer? About 350 times. Plus, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to observe justice, the Almighty Allah prohibited us from injustice, that is a dhulm, the wrongdoing, transfiguration. You add another 350 times when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is condemning, disappraising, forbidding a and 350 times where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praising, highlighting, uh, commanding, uh, justice or the truth. Total in the book of Allah only about 700 times. In the book, in a book that is about 600 pages. Brothers and sisters, average more than once in every page in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala either directing <coughs> us, commanding us, praising for us, Al Adil, justice, or prohibiting us, directing us away from, dispraising uh, and condemning of dhulm wallahu la yuhibbu of zalimin If you move from the Qur'an to the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam it is hard to count the emphasis on that uh, You know, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did not leave as part of his duty did not leave any goodness but advised and directed his ummah to. And did not leave anything bad or evil but advised his ummah to stay away from. Rasulullah gave us an advice. We are humans, have the shortcoming within. We do mistakes. We, none of us is perfect. But the Prophet said, when you fall, what means to do a mistake or it has shortcoming, 
do your best to stay away from the, the major seven sins in Islam. Ijtanihu as sabah al mubiqat. You have hope, you're still in good shape as long as you avoid these major seven critical uh, 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 sins in Islam. What, what are they, O oh Rasulullah? And you count. Look, look at the major seven sins in Islam. To associate partners with Allah. This is the greatest sin. Number two, killing the innocent soul without a, a, a due, a, a, a just a cause. Number three, the Prophet وَشَهَادَةِ الزُّورِ The Prophet is counting one of these major seven sins in Islam. The Prophet is counting وَشَهَادَةِ الزُّورِ The false testimony. Uh, when you prefer personal relationship or connection or self-interest over justice and intentionally gives false testimony. The Prophet ﷺ is calling this of the, one of the major seven sins in Islam, putting this in the same level of associating partners with Allah and killing the innocent soul and lacking the duty of parents and so on. So that is not an easy thing. When you go to read about the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Oh. We read the Quran, uh, one of the names of the Quran is Al-Furqan. The criteria to distinguish what is right and what is wrong. When the Prophet ﷺ went to grant nickname and to praise Umar radiallahu anhu, Umar Al-Faruq, very sharp in distinguishing what is right and what is wrong. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran praised from the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu and from humanity and from the previous uh, believers, followers of previous prophets, those who stick with justice and stand for justice. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in, in, in Surah Al-A'raf, وَمِمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا أُمَّةٌ يَهْدُونَ بِالْحَقِّ وَبِلِيَعْدِلُونَ The other ayah, Allah says, وَمِنْ قَوْمِ مُوسَىٰ أُمَّةٌ يَحْدُونَ بِالْحَقِّ وَبِهِ يَعْدِلُونَ Praising them uh, from the previous believers and those who guide by the truth and rule by justice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala documented in the Quran uh, their uh, praise and their credit. Uh, what is interesting is uh, one of the non-Muslim researchers, he uh, said, if Islam is to be summarized in one word, that word will be justice, al-adil. Honestly, brothers and sisters, when I first heard this, I said, no, that is, not, that is wrong. That should be, that word should be at-tawheed, manifiyuzim, out of the 6,247 ayat in the Quran, about 4,000 of them have the hint of uh, monotheism, a tawheed, to introduce the Almighty Allah SWT, how to worship the Almighty Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. But when you look deeper, Subhanallah, uh, the Sahaba of the Prophet SAW use whenever an ayah comes, want to practice immediately. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed an ayah, الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَلَمْ يَلْبِسُوا إِمَانَهُمْ بِظُلُمْ أُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمُ الْأَمْنُ وَهُمْ مُهْتَدُونَ In Surah Al-An'am. Those who believed and did not mix their iman with any injustice, with any dhulum. Uh, the Sahaba came to Rasulullah and said, Oh Rasulullah, we, this is in Al-Bukhari Al-Muslim, this is story. Uh, we cannot practice this uh, because a dhulm is any wrongdoing. They said, oh, Rasulullah, we are humans. We do something wrong sometimes. And the Prophet ﷺ told them, this is not what is meant in this ayah. What is meant in this ayah, those who believe 
and do not mix their iman with any shirk, with any polytheism. You did not hear what the righteous Al-Abid As-Salih said to his son, means Luqman, in Surah Luqman, when Luqman alayhi salam advised his son, Ya Bunayya, la tushrik billah, inna shirka la dhulmun azim. The linguistic meaning of al-dhulm, what a shirk fi ghayri mawdi'ihi, to do anything wrong. But what is meant in this ayah, the greatest form of volume that is an injustice, that is to associate partners with Allah, who created you and who provides for you, then you thank and worship somebody else. So uh, even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran is calling a shirk, calling that a volume. So a tawheed is al adil what is justice? What is just? That Allah created you, Allah protects you, Allah provides for you, you thank and worship Allah. What is a dhulm in justice? Allah created you, Allah provides for you, you worship and show loyalty to something uh, else. So the point here is yes, if Islam to be summarized, to be summarized in one word, that word will be uh, justice al adil because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is putting a tawheed monotheism in the frame of uh, al adil. Uh, number four, uh, I want you to understand this and I will uh, conclude my khutbah inshallah. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned uh, al adil, we call it in Arabic jumla uh, insha'iya, not jumla khabariya. When you read the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not only informing us in al adil. The Prophet is not only informing us in al adil, but commanding us to establish al adil and to stand for al adil. Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan wa ita'id al qurma. Aqul qawliha lo wasaf. الحمد لله ثم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ربنا لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك رضينا بالله ربا وبالإسلام دينا وبمحمد صلى الله عليه وسلم نبيا ورسولا Dear respected brothers and sisters of Islam When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked to us in the Quran about العدل the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to establish العدل Establishing al adil justice needs a plan, needs a program, <coughs> needs an effort, needs an attitude, uh, needs a sacrifice. This is why in the hadith of Rasulullah وسلم, and this hadith is in Al-Bukhari and Muslim, Rasulullah said very famous, very common hadith. All of us know this hadith, Al-Muslim, Akhul Muslim. Establishing kind of single brotherhood between all Muslims. Every Muslim is a brother of every Muslim. But this is not the whole hadith. The rest of the hadith is detailing the rights, responsibilities, and duties of this kind of a brotherhood. La yadlimu. Number one, la yadlimu should not do injustice wrong to one another. Number two, wala yuslimuhu. What does wala yuslimuhu mean? Wala yuslimuhu, I should not be at the mood or the attitude watching my brother or sister being subject of injustice and I'm just watching. As long as I'm personally safe, my family, my children are safe, I have nothing to do with others, that is not the brotherhood. The brotherhood is we should stand to support those who are being subject of discrimination or injustice or a dhulm. Uh, the rest of the hadith, مَنْ كَانَ فِي حَاجَةِ أَخِي كَانَ اللَّهُ فِي حَاجَتِهِ وَمَنْ فَرَّجَ عَنْ مُسْلِمٍ كُرْبَةً فرج الله عنه بها كربة من كرب يوم القيامة ومن ستر مسلما ستره الله يوم القيامة and whoever walks in the need of his brother Allah will walk in his need سبحان الله what a great if you think about this do we have needs do we have something to ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى for Allah سبحانه وتعالى is a practical a venue how to how to reach how to achieve this 
find a disparate person in need. If you walk in the need of that person to fulfill it, make dua, Allah will walk in your need and will fulfill it. <coughs> if you recover a person from hardship, Allah will recover you from hardship in the day of judgment. And whoever conceals the shortcoming of a Muslim, Allah will conceal his or her own shortcoming. And number five, brothers and sisters, this struggle between what is right, what is wrong, between al-haq and al batil the truth and the falsehood since the day of Adam till the last day on this earth. So we need to be sure, we Muslims, the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sincerely and firmly among the people who stand for the truth and who stand for justice and who push away with all their efforts uh, anything called injustice or a -dhulu. I should not allow myself to do injustice. So in the personal level, personal relationship, family relationship, neighbors relationship, society relationship, professional relationship, this is where we, the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, stand. As people known of justice, to stand for justice, to say what is just, to do what is just, and to stand against any injustice. And my khutbah today, uh, to ask you five minutes of your time. After the salah, in your way out, you'll find the table of this organization called Muslim Legal Fund of America. You will find the brochures and inside everyone, you can take the blue one for your info, inside it there is uh, an envelope for donation. What is the Muslim Legal Fund? This organization is non-profit civil rights organization established 2001, 17 years ago, dedicated to one cause defending the civil rights of Muslims and funding the work that makes justice possible for you and for me. This year only, they take federal cases. Comparing that with CARE, CARE does advocacy, interfaith, city, state, federal. This organization is doing, a group of attorneys doing civil rights defense for Muslims on federal level only. That is national security, that is the immigration, and that discrimination, and so on. This year only, 2017, they took 600 cases. About 225 of them are still active in the court. And to give you a brief history, this is the organization that defended the Holy Land case, if you remember. And this is the organization defended the Colvin Irvine 11, 11 students of Irvine University in California when the uh, Israeli ambassador came to speak and they tried to protest. Could you please come forward, brothers? May Allah reward you. Allow your brothers outside to have enough. Please give me two minutes. I'm finishing my khutbah, inshallah. Uh, so the university reacted by firing them and detaining them. Alhamdulillah, this organization jumped and the case was dismissed. This is Amir Siddiqui, a pilot from Miami here, was fired after seven years of excellent record simply because of the name Siddiqui in the end, where a new manager, right-wing conservative came and he thought the name Siddiqui is a threat. Nobody is allowed to fly my passengers with this last name. My hand is full of so many cases, I don't have the time, but uh, brothers and sisters, do you believe we as minority have been subject of discrimination and exclusiveness the last few decades? If you believe yes, then number one, if you come to have a case like this, please call the organization. Call the 800 number and an attorney will communicate for you. There is a way, brothers and sisters, to stop this discrimination against Muslims. We should not be a passive community. If somebody discriminates against you, if you are quiet and go home and lose your job because of hijab, because of beard, because of salah, because of your name, uh, and you are quiet, they will keep doing that. Alhamdulillah, majority of people, the system is healthy. The bad apple, the sick individuals are everywhere. The only way to stop them is you stand your ground. 
call free attorney will support you, will sponsor you. I was one of the six imams deployed in 2006 for nothing, just mainly traveling with beer, alhamdulillah. <coughs>